This week, I am at the Seoul International Book Fair in Gangnam, South Korea. The fair runs from June 14th to June 18th, and I am going to attempt to vlog the entire week so that you can enjoy the fair with me. It is being held at the famous Coex Mall, and the theme for this year roughly translates to from the non-human to the human. A total of 481 publishing companies, including 121 foreign publishing companies from 30 different countries, and over 200 speakers are expected to join this event. And as a bibliophile, 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 those numbers are music to my ears. a successful first day. Now let me look at my notes. You know how I was saying earlier that having this many authors and publishers and speakers all in one space was the perfect environment for a bibliophile like me? Well, in actuality, it was quite overwhelming, <laughs> but in a good way. Let's start by talking about the first panel, which was called The Beauty of Translation that maximizes the potential of language and feeling. One of the things I found really interesting that Anton talked about was specifically what he called the mythical English reader. This concept that the person who reads English literature prefers a specific way of speaking and therefore he felt very constrained by that thought. And of course, over the years of his work, he realized that there is no one particular English reader. This concept of the mythical English reader is something he wrote about in a collection of texts by translators. The anthology is called Violent Phenomena. And so in this particular essay, he went on to say about how it's important to move on from this concept of the mythical reader because because that concept doesn't serve any of us. It doesn't serve the reader, nor does it serve the work or the translator. One of the other things that I really loved hearing about was specifically novelist Lee Hong, and she talked about how her desire and passion was to open up pathways for Korean writers to have access to other spaces. So what she did, she actually moved to France in order to open up spaces for Korean writers to have access in the French market. You have the time of your life every single night The confetti's raining down You put your hands to the sky Center of the crowd You're the talk of the town And I tell myself I don't want that What glitters and gold I tell myself I don't need it Cause I'm fine on my own But I hate being on the outside
day two. Day two panels were really great. I went to two of the panels throughout the day. One panel was on women CEOs and editors in the industry. And then the second panel feature women writers in the industry. In the first panel, I learned that 17% of Korean women face discrimination in the publishing industry. And the moderator followed up with that question and asked whether she thought that 17% was because of women's competency levels or was it because of male domination? Of course, that question was a leading question to have her discuss more about the male-dominated space of the publishing industry within Korea. And she responded with, unfortunately, because of the strong conservative patriarchal nature within Korea, women tend to not be allowed to move up into leadership positions within the industry. But they were hoping as a result of this panel to bring more awareness to that and to and also more opportunities to discuss how mentorship can play a role with bringing in more young female editors who want to eventually have a stronger leadership role within the industry. But everything's just fake Now you're becoming The person you once hated You also used to say that I tell myself I don't want that work later is just in My attempt failed. It has been about a week since the Seoul International Book Fair and I tried to vlog the rest of it. It just got more and more full of people as the days went on and as it got closer to the weekend. And I'm sure as you know, vlogging in public is not that easy, especially when there are thousands of people circulating all around you. All that to say is that I had a really great time at the Seoul International Festival. I highly recommend you go if you ever have the chance to be here during that time. There were so many great panels, so many books. I learned so much about the Korean publishing industry. I got to hear directly from Korean writers and Korean illustrators and even Korean translators about the whole process of what does it mean to translate? How do we convey feeling and meaning and language when we're moving from one language to another, especially when the original author had not been writing for a different language or for a different culture. The labor of translators. Bravo. You are the reason why I feel like this work that I'm thinking about and processing matters and to continue to think about how do we do this work in children's literature across cultures, across languages across people groups. I feel like this is just the beginning and being at the Seoul International Book Fair was a great launching space for all of the questions and all of the thoughts that I currently have in my head. That being said, we are not done yet. I owe you two more days worth of book vlogging. So today I am going to the National Library for Children and Young Adults. So, Let's get started. Mm -hmm. 